I take you down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool and I'm like, yes, ma'am. When you got me feeling for your body, you might turn me to a yes, man. Oh, yeah. 80 and a 40, I'm a nervous bitch, I'm flyer than your ex, man. This is Pokhara, one of the most attractive travel destinations in Nepal. And in this video we will discover what exactly you could experience in the city and why you should travel here. So keep watching. Champagne with the roof gun, bump the jam back in Tucson. Think I got to get a move on. Never had much to lose, but you could do better with me in the middle of the road, the back of the Jeep. So baby, let's not talk about it. But I gotta know. One of the most exciting and unforgettable ways to experience Pokhara and see Himalayas from the bird's eye view is a hot air balloon ride from the Pokhara lake side, which usually attracts a lot of curious visitors of the city. Hot air ballooning in Nepal is a scenic adventure, which can make you feel like a bird flying high in the sky and get you amazed by the spectacular views of the Himalayan ranges and peaks covered with snow, beautiful sunset and the stunning Teva Lake. Prices are starting from $120 per person. If you're afraid of heights or would prefer to spend your budget on something else, then you could start exploring Pokhara with the boat ride on Theva Lake, one of the most popular travel activities here. You can hire an affordable 1-2 hour or a whole day guided paddle boat for a big company of friends from one of the many lakeside counters and just chill and relax. Or get a big family boat and ride on your own. Or even a kayak for a couple. But the most comfortable way is a classic paddle boat with a driver. So you could spend all your time taking photos of the beautiful hills and surroundings, slowly moving away over the shore, enjoying the peace and quiet. Also for $5 per hour, you could book a boat and paddle the lake yourself if you want to, as there is so much to see. For example, you can come for a visit to Talbarahi Temple, which is located on a small island not too far from the shore. It's tiny but beautiful Hindu temple and the most important religious monument in Pokhara, which is free to visit. If you are in the mood for a little hike, then you could come with a boat to the trailhead, leading through the forest to the steps up to the World Peace Pagoda, where if the weather is clear, you could experience one of the best views of the Pokhara Valley and the Annapurna mountain. But if the weather is foggy and cloudy, then you'll have to enjoy the beauty of the pagoda only. It was built by Japanese Buddhist monks and is one of 80 peace pagodas in the world. You could drive or grab a taxi straight to the place if you get bored of boating. Just remember to negotiate the price before entering the car. The entry to pagoda is free for all visitors, but there is a donation box, so you might leave there some money for your good karma. 
there is also a little village where you could enjoy lunch or taste a really delicious freshly cooked local coffee. And while enjoying this coffee, you will discover a nice view of the valley from the other side. Feva Lake is the second biggest in Nepal, and even a simple walk on the quiet road that runs alongside the shore would let you enjoy with the charming views of the hills and mountains. Observe wild birds, admire dozens of colorful bows moving in all directions, and probably take lots of selfies. And you would be surprised to discover Pokhara Disneyland right at the lakeside. However, it's definitely not Paris or Hong Kong standard. There is a scary looking ferry's wheel circling with incredible speed and full of screaming kids, which is just like a thriller movie scene. And few other rides. But I didn't dare to try any. Behind the park I have found lots of fishermen who were catching a small fish about 6-8 cm long. It was quite interesting to see how they do it here, in a different country. And probably it is even possible to join them if you have got enough time and want to try. But let's get back to exploring the rich nature of the valley. Davis Falls is the famous waterfall in Pokhara and is one of the top attractions of the city. The waterfall was named after Miss Davis, a Swiss tourist who was swimming in its waters in 1961, but unfortunately the overflow pushed the woman in a sinkhole where she drowned. Her body was found after three days with great effort, as the water flows through the cave system into the underground river below. It is sad, but Davis Falls was also considered as a suicide site, since the locals as well as the tourists were jumping from the cliff down. That's why now we can see metal fences around the cliff to prevent further suicides. One of the caves where we could see the stream of Davis Falls is Gupteshwar Mahadev Cave, located almost opposite the falls. It is also very famous for the Lord Shiva temple inside the cave, which is said to be over 600 years. Taking photos and videos of it is not allowed. The entry ticket is $1 to the cave and 30 cents to the waterfall. It is a bit scary, but definitely worth visiting. If you like exploring caves, then try another one, the Bat Cave, which is less popular with tourists, more natural and untouched. You better bring your own small flashlight if you've got, or you could borrow a big and heavy one at the ticket counter, as the cave is completely dark inside. Once you enter the cave, look up, 
and you will be shocked to see the hundreds of black bats sleeping on the ceiling right above your head. They are so close that you could hear the noise of their wings. The way out of the cave is slippery and narrow and quite complicated that creates a traffic jam as many people are physically unable to squeeze themselves through the tiny exit hole of the cave. So almost everyone turns back and silently passes under the sleeping beds one more time. The ticket will cost you around one dollar and a half. I rented a motorcycle to get to the most places around Pokhara, as the public transportation is a bit complicated and the cost of the taxi might be quite high. If you know how to drive, there is a wide selection of rental shops where you could choose something affordable. Mine was $20 a day, scooters are available for $7 to $9 up. Two wheels transport will give you a chance to explore Pokhara with no limits. But if you've got no experience of driving bikes in Asia, then it's better to refuse of this idea for your own safety. Take a ride to the Seti River, where you could take a stroll over a suspension bridge covered in colorful prayer flags above a white ice-cold water stream and watch the astonishing mountains. If you are brave and hard and want to get some extreme experience, then this is the right place for you. Seti River provides the perfect opportunity to explore its crazy rapids with a rafting trip. Be ready for total freeze out. The price is starting with $60. Visit the aqueduct of the City River Gorge, where you will see the stream of the Milky Mountain water running through the tunnels. The river has carved a deep and narrow crack in the rocks, turning the water milky white in the process. And don't forget to eat! Pokhara has got a variety of dishes and cuisines. You can always combine Nepali food with something more familiar to your stomach and truly enjoy. And once your belly is full and happy, jump on a bike or grab a taxi and try your luck on the top of the Sarangkot Hill, located just on the edge of Pokhara. You may try to hike up to the top, but it's gonna take a lot of time and your energy, so I wouldn't recommend. Here, if you will be lucky with weather, you might see astonishing bird-eye view of the Pokhara Valley, magnificent sunset and the legendary Himalayas. Well guys, that's it. If you liked the video, then hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next video.